Well, after their disaster performance on voting rights, Democrats now turning their attention to infrastructure. A high-profile huddle between a group of bipartisan Senate negotiators and White House officials ended yesterday with no breakthrough as roadblocks emerged on how to pay for the package. Joining us to discuss, Congressman Dan Muser, Republican from Pennsylvania. Congressman, thank you for coming on today. Good to see you again. Thank you. Great seeing you. Absolutely. All right. So we've been following along with this infrastructure debate. I know you've seen the president's proposal, also heard from Democrats about they, what they want to include. Is there a bipartisan solution here? What do you think needs to go from the bill? Well, there certainly should be. Certainly from where we began when President Biden and his administration proposed it and the left of the uh, Democrat Party uh, su uh, support a $2.1 trillion bill. We're now down to $1.2 trillion, which looks a lot better, right? Looks a lot better. And I've sat in on meetings with uh, the senators who are trying to negotiate this, as well as many, many good members of the House, Republicans and Democrats. But what we have to be concerned with is where the pay fors are coming from. I like a lot of the plan so far. I certainly don't like the idea idea of a gasoline tax, especially because of much of this administration's proposals have increased gasoline prices so much. It's certainly no time to be talking about taxes, particularly as we're into a recovery. The Republican plan has a number of, of approximately $500, $450 billion. You know, one, one thing, Emma, that wasn't done here, they didn't ask the states, what do you need, right? And if you, if you really do an assessment of what states need, let's just take my state of Pennsylvania. It's somewhere between 15 and $20 billion would be a game changer for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. That number, prorated and extrapolated, adds up to about a $500 billion overall spend. So to me, this number could be in the neighborhood of $500 billion where the Republican plan currently is. And that's only... The only funding that's being used is repurposing dollars that have been used in the rescue plans and the care packages. So there'd be no additional taxes or fees or anything of that nature. That's where we should start. But on the same note, I'm very interested in listening to this bipartisan, bicameral plan uh, that is being discussed. Okay, you're willing to listen. That's the first step, right, in these debates. And then of course, as I hear from you, uh, the importance of just infrastructure as we know it to be, roads, bridges, your traditional stuff. And then of course, asking for the state's needs along the way. Uh, thank you so much, Congressman Dan Muser, joining us on the program at the end of this hour. We appreciate it, Congressman. Take care. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.